Hi Cancer, welcome back to Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Today I'm doing a very unusual reading. Who hurts you? So I'm looking at the person that caused you pain right here on my table today. Alright, so let us get started. So here you are Cancer sitting pretty as the king or queen of cups here. Remember that these cards are really gender neutral even though the, you know, the images on the card are male, female. And I might refer to them as such. You just take it according to your gender. I might correct myself, you know, in the midst of things. But in case I forgot to say if you're male or female, just remember that it just it applies to you either way. So let us get started. The person that hurt you, this person is in the obstacle area of your reading. This person is causing you obstacle. I feel like this person is really blocking you from living your true life as an intuitive person. This person is a person. I feel like this person is very, is kind of selfish. They could be dark skinned. And the signs that I'm seeing here are fire sign or earth sign. So that is Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So that's the person that hurts you. I see that this person might have promised you prosperity, you know, like they might have promised you that feeling of celebration of being together, like you guys could prosper well together. But I realize now, well, according to these cards, that you're not focusing on this energy anymore of what this person is promising you because you're seeing that they're not fulfilling their promises. They're not able to keep up their end of the bargain because all they really focus on is this passionate wand. Oh, how me and my wand. This person might have appeared to you as highly valuable. It could have been deceptive. Or it could have been true. This person could be like value themselves, dress well, take care of themselves. But they're they're not in a place where you want to be cancer. They're not able to hold you, I feel. And so they cause you a lot of strife because they really just think about this big shaft. You know, remember that the reading <laughs> make it apply to your, your gender, okay? So this could be a female, and maybe all she thinks about is her material gains that's why she's around you but you're looking for something more something deeper more commitment but this this man here he just thinks about this penis everywhere he walks it's this it's this it's this penis if he's in the bank it's just that there's always an awareness of this dick oh my god there's always an awareness of this it's just all like it's always alert and ready <laughs> It's like they glorify this. They're, this person could be very charming to you, not really paying attention to their more emotional side. So they don't, uh, they don't support you emotionally. They just want to fuck. Oh, so they cause you. So even though they might appear to be able to meet your needs emotionally, because they may come and appear as one. That's what charming people do. They they make you feel like. You're highly valuable and they'll be there for you. But at the end of the day, they're just really, it's their penis talking or, you know, it, it apply, how it, however it applies to a female. They cause you to feel like you have to be wondering if it's right or wrong. Like, is it, can I really work with this person or not? So it's like they create these, these sense of ideas in you that you have to be standing up to all the time, wondering, questioning. Is this good for me? Is this person right? Is it, Are we going to work out one day? I mean, so you have to be in defense mode. This card also feels like you're able to really stand strong in your power because you have the upper hand here. You're leading with your heart, Cancerian. So don't have any fear about this person. Just know that they're not coming to you straight. They're coming to you sideways. This person could really love dressing up. And, you know, like, if it's a male, it could be that type of man that likes taking care of his his, his outer appearance that gives too much attention to that when you're more you're more heartfelt and you're more about what's really going on in the world so yeah they put you in this energy of thinking about your thoughts questioning your beliefs your true water intuition you don't need that according to the cards because 
this person is sideways this is the person that hurts you so you realize this because you are heavily guided by your intuition yay cancer very intuitive this is like a gift an honor that was given unto you by from birth it is innate in you your gift of true intuition i believe you're coming your intuition is working very speedily sharply like coming into you and it is guided by judgment from the universe so it's a judgment call to to kind of give this up give this up so your intuition is working really fast there with you that's why you're leaving this this um these desires behind of having a prosperous relationship with this person it's behind you what you're now focusing on is being stable in trusting yourself, trusting in your groundedness. Because this person may have caused you to question your intuition and your self of sense of self-worth. So your intuition is working and you're like, whoa, I feel like this is not good for me. So I have to really ground myself and guide and be guided by the universe. This the moon is in this card here. Which is saying that you're really going inside, using your water intuition, being guided by the moon, releasing things that are not serving you. Remember, your intuition is powerful, Cancer. You have a connection to the water and water's memory. Over here on what you're focusing on is the, your, is the hangman. This is a sense of honor, of pride, of being in connection with the, the, the divine of really using your wisdom and your intuition, your discernment to get you through this. That's what it is all saying. Your intuition is working well for you. So sometimes you have to make sacrifices once your discernment kicks into place and your intuition starts, all the red flags start to show up. You know, you're like, whoa, this could also be a Pisces. So if you're looking for a new love interest, I think you might be moving away from the fire signs and the earth signs because they are not able to hold you, I feel. And so you're looking for someone who can be more intuitive, someone who is deeper, who is um, who is prophetic, or maybe you're tuning into your prophetic abilities at this time, which is good for you. I feel like this person caused some type of an ending or you are putting an end to this. That's what this card is saying. The tower, there's ruin and destruction. Okay, the person you might, this person, you might have lived with them or, you know, you might have lived together with this person and somehow they left you out in the cold as if they just put you out. So this person might have put you out. So there was some kind of a disturbance, an argument, and this person put you outside because this is who they are. They don't care about emotions and feelings and all that stuff. It, this, look at them so this person could have really sense like insensitively put you out if you're expressing your emotions because this feels like your emotion kicked in or something and you maybe got angry or you were like really expressing yourself and it went down and this person might have evicted you and left you out in the cold to really defend yourself you were like standing there defending yourself the truth is you always use your heart so you're always guided by intuition so you'll always make it through but the way you had to defend yourself was so dishonorable and distasteful really that they made you had to they put you in a situation where you have to defend yourself like this feeling alone and like less like lowered your value and your sense your sense of self-worth cancer so you're moving away from this. I feel like you're moving into, you're moving into like, it feels like when something has ended, it feels like when, if you're watching a movie and it ends and then it just, the screen kind of zooms in to close. I feel like that is the kind of close, like closing the curtain, close, like the screen zoom in like that little circle that comes in and it's zoomed and that's the end of it. But no one is seeing where you are going. Like this is the end of the movie. You moving away. You're moving away either emotionally, detaching yourself from the dreams, the ideas that you were hoping to manifest with this person. And really, really focusing now, Cancer. And aligning with someone that can hold you. Someone that really aligns with your true nature or you just going into yourself. 
Remember that if you feel unsteady, ground yourself. Be defensive. Choose what to let in and what not to. You got this. So it was this, this whole breakup and situation was a judgment call from the universe. Because I believe it's saying like this person wasn't worth your time. Like it, It's not worth you waiting on this person to change because this is who they are. They, I feel like this person don't really have a lot of prosperity around them. As you can see, there's dry land here because all they focus on in, is this shaft. I feel like this penis or this shaft or these material things, it's what keeps, it charms them instead of them charming it. So it's like they have no sense of control over how they act or they, they haven't really matured. I don't know, man. That's that person. Remember I said this could be earth sign, fire sign, strong earth sign that has a lot of passion feels like oh i have to i want to release oh yeah you want to release okay so use your intuition my darling let us see what else is here for you your intuition is very strong it's come it's zoop, 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 and you're listening so even though you went through this tower moment you feel steady you feel steady and grounded because you know who you are we have the judgment card here that I feel like that's what came in. It woke you up to your sense of self-worth and saying, I may have been dealing with this person for four years or four months or whatever, and it's not going anywhere. I need to, I need to focus my intentions and my attention on something more worthwhile. And I see that's what you're doing. You're focusing on using your intuition. You're focusing on aligning with the truth of who you are. Grounded. You want to feel more grounded in yourself. Knowing where you're heading. And so you choose that. You choose to align with your true life purpose today. The lover's card is here as well. So the person you're focusing on. Or the person that is coming into you. The situation coming into you, Cancer, could be a Pisces, as I said. And this could be a twin flame energy. So this is divinely called into being. That you leave this F boy or girl behind. And focus on manifesting true love. So you might just be going off. Like taking a leap of faith. To move away. And it's more than a leap of faith. It's taking your dignity, what you have left of it, your integrity, your virtues, going off blessed by the sunlight because the universe is on your team. You don't deserve to align with someone that that's not willing to align with even themselves. So you're moving, my darling. You're moving into your high state. You're the high priestess. Priestess, you're wise. You're caring, intuitive. You know what's up. You know what you have to do for your sense of self-love. So you might be coming into someone that matches your energy. And I'm just pulling from the deck here. These cards are all lined up here for you. Your emperor could be that Pisces person. It could be a water, um, sorry, an earth sign as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you could just want to feel more grounded and stable or in business for yourself. Or this person could be a business person that um is very grounded and stable. A CEO of their empire. empire. So the world card is telling me that you're moving into a space of freedom, of clarity. It feels like what you've always wanted. It feels like you being free from the indecisions. You know, not trusting your intuition. You're moving into a place that is more clear. That speaks more of who you are with the world card here. Like your good graces are coming into play. You're regaining your sense of self, your dignity, your honor. You're moving into that place. The emperor, I'm sorry, the justice is here. So this is all called into being. There are lots of powerful cards here. Plenty, the justice, world. The Emperor, High Priestess, the Fool, the Lover's card, the Judgment. All of these are major cards. So you're being well blessed in this journey. 
I feel like this is a massive card, like very important card as well. You actually choosing to align with your intuition, not being afraid to let go of something that is causing you too much uncertainty, to have to be defending yourself too much, you know. Okay, Cancer, thank you so much for tuning in. Any messages from the playing cards for Cancer to sum this reading up about this person? How about the person that hurt Cancer? Tell me one thing about this person. Tell me about Cancer's person that hurt them in love. Okay. This person is... Well, I feel like this person might be inspired by you. They kind of are inspired by you to really be authentic. They want to work on their sense of self-love. You know, you know, this person may always think like this. My penis or my bags and purses and watches and stuff, my clothes. But now they're like, whoa, this is so vain. How, how can I love myself truly in the way that that cancer loves themselves but you know they're at the five so they still have work to do on themselves so don't be too hard and mean just just you have to take control of your life and you're doing that you're welcoming to you there's someone amazing coming into you we got the lover's card that i felt clarify this card for you all right cancer so that is your reading for today okay these came out too i didn't realize the three of pentacles and the king of wands <laughs> okay someone might be looking to get into your energy again they might be so your person the person that hurts you could be looking for ways to to come into you looking for guidance looking asking questions Maybe going into themselves, how they can really up their value to, to, I think they sense that you're leaving. So I think they sense that you're leaving, but I don't think they're, they're powerful enough to hold you, hold on to you right now, to give you everything that you need. So you have to put yourself first, really. I think this person is wishing on you, like praying, using, you know, those forces of the universe, like those magical forces having intention for you of course they do have that in there see that's their intention that's what they're focusing on this person hurt you man all right that's my reading for you cancer all the best to you much love and until next time take care